both mates. You guys look gorgeous. Oh, yes. See yourself. Yes, little GoPro. Oh, yeah, Say hi. Oh, okay, it's really fine. It's like a mirror. Just I know. You guys look gorgeous. You guys are stunning tonight. Thank you, guys. So, Rex season two. I love season one. And you both are fan favorites. I don't know if you know. But. So, what's next for Sophia and Lauren? Well, we're on land for starters. We made it off the boat, so I think that's a, that's a good place to start. Um, I think there's a lot of emotional development and a lot more challenges coming both of their ways, you know. And whether that's emotional, whether that's within their friendships, whether that's in terms of somebody chasing down the knife, you know, like I think you can definitely see them working as more of a team yeah. together, I think, this yeah. season. Um, which we got a little bit of in the first season, so it's sort of nice to see how that grows. Yeah, I, yeah. I love it. We hate each other in real life, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can't you tell? Yeah. Oh. Um, Sophia is... So this season, you still have her frostiness. She's still... We, we've, we've got all the frostiness, but there's a lot of layers with Sophia. And I think you see... This season, we see a lot of her development as an actual good human being. Oh my God. I know. Um, yeah, there's a lot of difficult conversations that she has, and I think it's really important for her character type as well to be having these conversations with you will see as the episodes come and her redemption towards that. It's really nice to see. Oh, wow. And this season takes place seven months after the first one. So, Sophia is very confident, but also a little bit insecure. Oh, is she? <laughs> Just a little bit. I never know that. If you could say one thing to her, what would you say? Be kinder to yourself and to others, because I think she hasn't had a lot of kindness in her life in my head prior to being on the ship and um, so I think just general kindness I think is needed from her and you see that in this series when she's surrounded by people that have a lot more kindness at their core uh -huh. you sort of see her slowly start to embed it so it's really nice but definitely be kinder to herself and others for sure well and Amber what would you say to Lauren one thing to say to her protect your heart girl because oh, she'd what? be putting it on the line like <laughs> her last romance kind of met a bit of gruesome end so unfair, yeah. gutted, yeah. my boy Jerome. Tough time. Diego out there. But yeah, like, <laughs> he's going to love that. Um, no. Yeah. Um, but I think, I think, yeah, protect your heart, girl. Put yourself first. For what? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Absolutely. And you both are so talented, so dedicated. If you could give one piece of advice to aspiring actors who are trying to get to where you are, what, what, what would you say to them? keep going because it is never rosy and fun the day jobs will always be there um, but if you love it keep doing it because there is no other high you get from when you deliver a like an incredible scene or even when you're on the other side of someone else delivering an incredible scene yeah keep going if you can if you love it do it just keep doing it I'd also say um, don't be so bloody hard on yourself to anyone you know like I think coming up as an actor like coming up from different backgrounds if like if you look like you know like representation is very important and if you're not seeing yourself represented be that representation you know like you have to you have to create your own work and you have to make yourself be seen and don't be so bloody hard on yourself because you're here to play so you know like try and enjoy yourself as much as you can you should love it you know i love that guys thank you guys you look so great have a great night tonight